What is going on everybody? This is Jack with the Trading Tribe. And today I wanted to share just a couple quick tips that have really helped in 2021 with my trading. And I think it can really help all of you guys, no matter where you're at in that day trading journey, whether you're a complete beginner or if you're on the consistently profitable side of things, I think all three of these can be really beneficial. So to start today, everything will be in Thinkorswim. This is my day trading platform and one of the instruments that I trade quite frequently is natural gas which is a commodity and a future so if you're not familiar I will be posting videos regularly going through some of this stuff but for today we will stick with just the three tips so to start I am on the day trading um, time frame of a one day one minute chart so this was today in the markets and really the first tip I like to share with people is to always look for direction. I find trading so much easier if you do have the direction in mind or at least a bias in mind because you can trade around that bias. So today when I woke up around six o'clock, I noticed price was uptrending, right? It started right around this 3.8 level. By then, it was all the way up to the 3.9 level almost. So that is a pretty clear uptrend to me. So finding direction should be a relatively quick thing that you can do depending on the time frame and depending on the chart. And if direction is not clear, based on all of my experience, typically it is a lot easier to stay out of the trade. With that being said, if direction is clear, the biggest thing to do next is to spot the big key levels on the chart. So this is the support and resistances. This is where people are getting in, where people are getting out on the chart. In this case, this was a level that I really liked. It was getting reacted to pretty early at night as well as pretty early in the morning. It was re getting reacted as kind of a support zone so if we make this a zone instead of one line, this is what I typically like to do because it's never going to be just one strict price. There's typically going to be kind of a zone of pricing that can cause some sort of demand zone. So in this case, with an uptrending market, the most important zone to plot out is the key level on the bottom, which we call a support. This is where buyers typically will turn the price around with buying pressure. So with the trend and with this zone in mind, this can really help the buyers know where the best entry can be on the day. In this case, it actually worked out perfectly the whole day. Anytime price did get here, it did struggle to push lower and did eventually turn around. Then on the opposite side of the spectrum, I always do like to find the ceiling, which is just the opposite or the resistance where typically price does start stalling out once it gets up there, which ended up being around this 3.9 level. Once you do have key support and resistance zones, this can really help just know what direction is doing, what the bias is on the day, and can either help confirm or reject your bias on the market. In this case, like I said, it was an uptrending day. So these were the two levels or zones that I tried playing off of. I ended up getting in on the trade later in the day after the breakout retest to that key level that was a resistance. Typically, once a resistance is broken, it flips and acts as a support. So when price did come down here, I ended up getting in right about at 3.9 and scaling out into the push up to 3.95 today. My third tip, after you do find direction and after you do find your support and resistance zones on the chart, are putting fantasy orders on the chart. I really do think this can help, especially with those people that do have jobs out there. I think staring at a chart or being glued to your screen can be really tricky. And I think one really cool thing about playing off of these zones or these key levels are you can set up orders and walk away. So in this case today, that's exactly what I did. I had set a buy order right at this level and it ended up triggering my order when that candle dipped down to that 3.9 level. And then I also had what they call an OCO bracket, which is where you can set your target 
and set your stop loss as well, somewhat automating the whole trade. So once the trade did get triggered, my stop loss got set, my take profit got set, all based on these key zones. And with these three tips in mind, I really do think this can help even just the average trader understand what's happening on the day, draw out what could happen the rest of the day, and actually execute and get in those trades. Thank you so much, Trading Tribe. Please try to like, subscribe, and comment if you have any questions. See you next time.